Hey everybody, we can welcome to week four of the Garden Club. This week we are going to be growing our very own, make your own chia pets. Now you can do this with a couple different seeds. Um, there's different varieties of seeds that you can do to make your very own chia pet. Um, today I'm gonna be using grass seed because I have extra leftover from my lawn. You can also use chia seeds, which you can get from the grocery store. Um, as well as watercress seeds sprout really quickly. Um, they're a little bit harder to find. If you happen to have that at home, you can use that, but I would just recommend either using chia seeds or grass seeds. So we're gonna need a couple different things today for uh, our supply list. So I'm gonna start off by recommending like a small glass jar. You use a small clear Tupperware container um a small pot whatever just a small container and you're going to need either photos printed out from a printer um you can make the drawing uh you can like cut out a from a coloring book like a picture um and you're gonna want to make sure that it can it's kind of the length of your head so i have this crazy photo of myself uh because i thought it would be a funny photo i also have a couple others um i'm just gonna there's me with a funny mustache. And I'm gonna just cut pictures out and I'm gonna do it so that the hair growing out, eventually you're gonna see it'll be, the grass will make our crazy hair. Um, growing up will be uh, making the hair in the picture. So I might do this one of my friend and I, because we are both wearing headbands, as you can see. So our hair is tucked back, so this might be a good photo. Right, the same hand one. Um, so I might cut out uh, Haley and I and tape it and see what our crazy hair looks like. So you're going to need your glass jar. You're going to fill it up with some dirt to the level of where the pictures are. So let me just go ahead and cut this out and we will be right back. So I got to steal some dirt out of my garden here and filled it pretty much all the way to the top. And then you see some of the plants that are here. So this is Swiss chard. It's kind of like, looks like celery. This is a, a bok choy. It's kind of bigger than the rest. And then these are beets, golden beets. But they're still pretty small. And then these are my ginormous yellow zucchini plants. There we go. Take that off. Last night was pretty cold and plants don't like the cold, so I'm happy to see them doing okay. Now I've got my grass seed on the top, soil on the bottom, and as you can see, there I got the soil from outside from my garden, so you can see the condensation where it's kind of warm, so it's nice and sunny outside. So you can see where the water is collecting on the side. So that's kind of why it looks funny. So moving forward, we're gonna cut our picture and then tape it to the side. See how this goes. Please just don't grab random photos from around your house if you're going to do this. That is not what I want to hear. So there's my friend Haley and I when we climbed a mountain. I also have this picture. Maybe this one, this one's kind of funny. Um, and then, just gonna have funny hair. So, cut it so that the hair is kind of missing. So I'm gonna cut it even more. I think this will be funny. I think she'll laugh about it. So there we go. You see how this headband makes it look like I have no hair? And my friend Haley, she has got a little bit of hair, so I might just make it me. So 
So I have my face here and I'm going to tape it on to here and in a couple days I will have funny hair. You use glue, you can use tape. And for your container, you can use um, like a, a can or a tin. So like you have soup and you finish up your soup, you can use like that soup tin and basically just put your picture at the top or decorate it or like draw a picture. If you have a pet, I think that would be funny if you had a pet. So I'm gonna actually move this a bit higher. So that where the grass is gonna come up. And then I'm gonna trim it to fit my hair. This would be funny if you have like a grandparent or a parent, maybe that doesn't have any hair and you can uh, make them grow funny hairstyles. I also think it would be funny if I found a picture of my family's dogs. So we are gonna let Bailey grow some crazy hair. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna water this over the next couple of days. It'll sprout hair and then you can trim your hair with scissors and style it however you want to. Uh, but that is basically the extent of today's uh, craft very quick very easy all you need is soil a container seed grass seed watercress grows really quickly um, also chia seeds you can find that at the grocery store and then a picture a drawing um, cutting it out and putting it on taping it on so very quick very easy and we will see if Crazy Bailey will grow some crazy hair. And I have to say, the grass hair might be even prettier than my hair right now. So we'll give this a cup of water and we'll just make sure to keep the grass seed pretty um, moist for the first couple days, just to make sure that it sprouts really quickly. Okay, awesome. I will see you guys next week.